Tonight, Channel 2 investigates the world of do-it-yourself firearms bought online. We showed you last night how easy it is to get one of these kits. A buyer can then put the parts together. No background check, no serial number on the weapon, and no way to trace it. Robert Arnold continues his investigation tonight with a case that the ATF says demonstrates why serial numbers can be so important in solving crimes. Robert? A tip from the public kicked off a lengthy investigation involving two men mailed packages in a criminal organization in Colombia. Channel 2 investigates showed you the debate. And registration leads to confiscation. Over unserialized gun parts and rifle kits like these for sale online and in stores across the country. No serial number attached, no background check needed. I don't think any gun control is appropriate. Without weighing in on the politics, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives says serial numbers matter when a gun is used in a crime. What you hope for is that leads you to the suspect or the trigger puller. Fred Milanowski is the special agent in charge of the ATF's Houston office. It's all about greed and making money. Milanowski is talking about a Houston man, Patrick Brewer Reagan. He was convicted of getting paid to buy guns and gun parts, then shipping those components to fictitious people at abandoned homes in Colombia. Another man, Nicholas Alig, got probation for buying guns for Reagan. This is the entire timeline of like purchases, flights, everything. This layout shows years worth of gun purchases and flights back and forth to Colombia. Malinowski says after shipping the parts, Reagan flew to Colombia to assemble the weapons for a criminal organization. Federal officials write would take over and control areas of the country by killing law-abiding citizens and legitimate police officers. He had lived in the country of Colombia. Uh, married a Columbia national, so he was very familiar with the country. Malinowski says before ATF got on the pair's trail, 125 guns made it to Columbia. The ATF was able to stop another 32. Serial numbers were key to the case, even though ATF agents say Reagan tried to obliterate some of the numbers. Without those numbers... We would have basically been at a standstill because we wouldn't have anywhere to go back to trace these firearms. And under the investigate section of click2houston.com, we have information on how you can anonymously report tips to the ATF as well as the entire debate over those do-it-yourself rifle kits. Reporting live, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.